What's going on guys, Pack out of here, bringing you the next hut draft for NHL 19. We kicked it off last week by starting out with the best shooters and actually lost the game. Now we're gonna try something a little bit better. We're gonna go with the best hands, the niftiest mitts for week number two. We got about a half million coins right now and no, I'm not gonna start this off by buying the legend pack. That's absolutely insane and right now I just can't commit to that kind of, I just can't commit to that kind of pack. It's insane. So we're gonna start off with center position. Remember, we're looking at the top seven cards in the auction house and picking the one with the best hands. And it's taken a while, but I think it's probably looking like Claude Giroux. Can we beat 87 going through here? I kind of made a couple errors last time, but once again, if I made an error, let me know, correct me. But for now, we're picking up Claude Giroux as starting center. We're hitting R1 for the next selection of centers. Let's see what we can get. Claude Giroux obviously cannot be picked twice. So if we do get a duplicate player, we get one down to the next bar. So Leon Dreisaitl is in contention for this one. So 76 is the best. We're going over here to Anze Kopitar. Anze Kopitar is going to be center number two. I like the selections we got so far. Giroux and Kopitar are awesome. Can we get Getzlaff? Mark Shifley, possibly. Let's see what we can go. Mark, Matt Duchesne, 79. Mark Shifley is an 84. I'm liking it. Mark Shifley is the four center, and we're rocking these centers right now. The final center for the team is going to be, oh, please let it be Steven Stamkos. Please let it be Steven Stamkos. Let's see. I think there's no duplication. Oh, there's another duplication, but it's going to go down to Gabriel Denis. Dennis, 66, 78, 86. Here we go, baby. Steven Stamkos is joining the team. So we got a powerhouse of centers, but we got to find out who their wingers are going to be. And if or not, they're going to be successful. So we're going to come down here to the right wing and start it off with these guys. Please give me some legends. Let's spice this team up a bit. Oh my gosh, Yari Curry. Okay, obviously I can't pay for that. 2.6 million is just not going to happen. So we're going to have to default to the next one going down. Is it going to be Nikita Kucherov? Holy crap. That's Nikita Kucherov, 86 hands, let's go. All right, let's see who the next right winger is gonna be on our team. Is it gonna be Bernie Joffrion? So with 84 hands, it is gonna be Bernie Joffrion. All right, here we go with the next selection. Who's it gonna be? It's obviously not gonna be Ty Domi. Uh, let's see the hands here, 76, 77, 79. Jonathan Marsh or so, 84 hands. Jonathan Marsh or so, we got our third winger. All right, the next winger and the final winger for us. Looks like we're gonna get stuck with a common player here. Let's see who the best hands are. Andre Burakovsky, I wouldn't mind having him. He's 88 speed, 77 hands. Let's check it out. Ty Ratty is just under that. Andre Case is also 77, but I get dealer's choice of this one. So Andre Burakovsky is gonna be the final right winger on our team. It's time to figure out who's gonna be setting Stamkos up for those one-timers, Giroud, Kopitar, Shifley. Who's gonna be helping out these centers on the left wing? Oh my gosh, is it Alexander Ovechkin? Please tell me it's Alexander Ovechkin. Oh no, Johnny Hockey obviously has better hands than Ovi. No duplications here. It looks like Johnny Hockey with 86 hands is gonna be the first left winger we're picking up. The next left winger. This team is already stacked. Is it gonna be Jamie Benn with 83 hands or Taylor Hall? Ooh, haven't used Taylor Hall yet. I'm actually kind of excited about this one, but Taylor Hall is 84 hands right now. Looking at everything else, Jamie Benn falls just under that. So Taylor Hall is gonna be the next winger accidentally went back so we're gonna skip a couple times here just randomly looking one two three four five let's see who's gonna be this one marcus naslin 84 hands is that gonna be that's the first one i drew my attention to let's see here i think it's gonna be marcus naslin 84 overall and it will be another hud alumni pickup the final forward on the team Ooh, lots of good choices here. Miko Rantanen, 83 hands, but Artemi Panarin with 86 hands, it's gonna be the final pickup, Artemi Panarin. All right, so now that we got the forwards picked out, I'm gonna go to the auction house right now and pick up all these players just to make sure we still have a budget left for our defensemen and we're not screwed at this point. So I'm gonna pick those guys up and then we'll see you for the selections of the defensemen. We actually have quite a bit of money left over to spare because we have 300,000 coins left over. Having Stamkos, Goudreau, and Panarin from the reroll sets definitely helped out, made things a lot cheaper. So we only actually bought quarter million coins worth of players right now so we're gonna go on to the lefty hoping we can find some big names here big handedness Mikhail Sergachev ooh, who's actually 79 I'm seeing a couple 79s here Morgan Riley and Will Butcher we're gonna do this Morgan Riley we're taking the Leafs going on to the next page left defenseman the next one come on give me somebody good Jacob Slavin was right there I'm hoping for a duplication here but I'm not seeing any of these guys it might be Hampus Lindholm 78 hands probably gonna be the best one since everybody else here is a silver Hampus Lindholm the next left defenseman we need a monster for the third one final guy you guys get to see it before I do who's gonna be please 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 Borges Salming or Zidane Chara. Ooh, 88 hands that guy is filthy on the blue line we're turning things over to the right defensive side of things. We need some high overalls. Borja Salmon was, the, was the, the last and greatest defenseman we got for the team. We need some manpower over here on the right side. Give me like a Victor Hedman. John Klingberg's not bad. 
Let's see, 84 hands, is that the best one we're gonna see here? It is John Klingberg, solid addition. Ooh, please, let's get a Brett Burns for the next one, but he probably doesn't have the best hands. Let's say, ooh, P.K. Subban, potentially. Let's see, 82 hands from Petrangelo, 83 hands from P.K. Subban. It's gonna be the next pick-me-up. Final defensive guy. Here we go, who's it gonna be? Give me somebody nasty, Jacob Truba, Matt Dumba, 79 hands. Wow, Tony D'Angelo has 78 hands. But Matt Dumba, it's gonna be a final defenseman. Not bad at selections for the right defenseman. All right, once again, we have to select goalies and goalies don't really have hands. So we gotta go determine a category of what we're gonna choose. This doesn't count, once again. And we're gonna click on Malcolm Subban and try and figure this out. So hands, let's see, hands. So where's the best place that you normally see hands being used? the breakaway. So we're just gonna look at the breakaway stats. This guy has 76. So Malcolm Subban was showing 76. So we're gonna click in on the next selection of people and see who has the best breakaway. John Gibson, 81, 73, 81 again, but Antti Ranta comes up twice. Corey Schneider also has an 81. So we actually get to select Frederick Anderson because there are two Antti Rantas. So Frederick Anderson is the last and seventh goalie. So he's the first selection of goalies. So Frederick Anderson is choice number one. I say choice, I mean, he's definitely on the team, but who is gonna be coming in next? Ooh, Sergei Bobrovsky could be big for us. Let's see if he has the best breakaway. So we get 67, 79, 83. Let's go, come on. I think that does it. That gets rid of everybody. Billy Smith, I'm just curious what his breakaway was. Uh, let's see, breakaway 85. So if it was one more goalie, we would have gotten to select Billy Smith. So Sergei Bobrovsky is going to be our starting goalie, being backed up by Anderson. So that's the team. I'm going to assemble these guys, buy them off the auction house, then we're going to get into this game. All right, so this is the team after we've gotten everybody off the auction house. Everybody was successful. We could pick up every single person that we drafted. The first line is such. Claude Giroux, Jonathan Marcheseau, Taylor Hall, Steven Stamkos, Nikita Kucherov, and Marcus Naslin, Panarin Shifley, Johnny Hockey, and then we got Andre, Anze, and Bernie <laughs> on line four. Defense is awesome. P.K. Subban, Borje Salming, John Klingberg, Morgan Riley, and Matt Dumba and Hampus Lindholm. And, and playing Tendi, Sergei Bobrovsky, backed up by Frederick Anderson. So this is the team. I'm very excited about this game. Let's get into it. Oh, no, I turned the puck over already. Subban in all alone, though. Overtime. Oh, ho, ho. Hall got shut down on the one-timer. We go far side? Dude, the stick left is unreal right now. What is going on? I want to body somebody so hard. I need to do best checking next. Come on, Hall. Turn on those jets. Whoop. Best hands? I don't believe you. Oh, here we go. Rip it! Oh my gosh. Go. Go, baby. Oh, it's a two-on-one. Kobitar. This isn't how you do a two-on-one, buddy. Rip it. Oh, big save again. Oh, there he goes. Oh, Panarin, what are you doing, buddy? Good pressure, good pressure. Marcia, so can he get all the way through? Right there in the middle, Drew gets denied on the one-timer. Subban fakes him out. We're going short side. Oh my gosh, this goalie's on another level right now. Far up there, Marcia, so spin move gets around him. Far side, just shoot it. Bam! Hall, get open. There it is, dude. These blocks are unreal right now. Stamkos, just rip it far side. Oh, come on. This is nasty. His goalie is playing ridiculously well right now. Like, holy crap. The shots right now, 12 to 4. So we're going full breakout, full four check. We're sending them everything. Let's see if he can handle that. Come on, Giroux. You burned him. Back, Marcia So. Oh, it's in. No. Are you kidding me? These things need to go in, holy cow. Come on, Borje. Nice save, Bobrovsky. Just get it out. Oh, thought somebody was gonna be there. Sorry to leave you high and dry. Riley, backside. Dude, no way. You gotta catch him. He's got that, nice. What are you doing, Bobrovsky? No way. He came with the wrong guy. I tried to get over there, but it gave me the guy so far away instead of the guy who could have cut that pass off. Come on. Oh my gosh, guys. Interference. He didn't have the puck. Oh my gosh, frustrating. We have so many chances, but we can't score his past his goalie. 17 to 9 the shots. We have more than double the time on attack. We gotta get it done in this third period or else we're toast. Nope, that's not how you start the period. Holy cow, thanks for Subban being so stupid fast. 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? Holy crap, of all things, that's what goes in. Wow, two minutes left to go, we finally tie this game up. That's bananas. Oh, Panarin. Dude, that was so close to being a breakaway. Wow. Who snagged out of the air. There it is. Oh my gosh, he got that? You gotta be kidding me. There it is. Oh my gosh, Kucherov, 30 seconds left. <laughs> what an absolute snipe. We got into the zone and Kucherov was there to make the nasty shot. Holy crap, let's go boys. Finally, it all comes tumbling down on him in the last couple minutes of the game. We still have 34 seconds to fend off this attack, whatever it's gonna be. There's Marcia so for the third one. Oh, gets just a piece of it from his goalie. 13 seconds, Andre Kopitar, big. Big face off. Nice win. Oh, that was so stupid of me. We did it. Holy crap. A <laughs> come from behind win in the closing minutes of the game. That was such an exciting game. We stuck it out. Bobrovsky only let in one goal, but we had Artemi Panarin and Kucherov had two nasty snipes. I think they were both one-timers from pretty far out. Kucherov's was a nasty zero angle shot that went in from the one-timer. So that was sick to see. But it was a very, very, very close game. I could not score on his goalie until the closing seconds. Like, let's look at the, the summary here real quick. Game shots were 28 to 11. Eight minutes of time on attack is more than double his time on attack. I had him like right where I wanted the entire game. I just couldn't score. We finally did in closing seconds. It was electric. So much fun in that game. It was a great game. If, if you're watching this game, it was a fantastic game by you. But that is it for the best hands draft. The Silky Smooth Danglers got us into the zone and made plays and came away with the victory in this game. But if you guys have a suggestion for what you want to see next, let me know in the comment section because this team was fire. I'd play with this team again but unfortunately we gotta sell everybody to the auction house and start from scratch. But thanks again for watching this hot draft with me guys. Drop a like on the video, subscribe for more videos and comment in the comment section your suggestion for the next one. Thanks again for watching guys. This is Path Daddy. I'm out.